We now continue with Reaction Kinetics, Contact Session 1, Part 2. The Rate of Reaction Let us again consider a volume sh as shown there at the bottom right-hand screen. Again, this element of volume is small enough that the distribution of species in that element is uniform. Now let's suppose that there is a reaction occurring in the fluid and let's say it is molecule A being converted to two molecules of B. We define the rate of reaction, say rate A of A as shown there, as the moles of A that are being formed per unit volume per unit time in that element. The units of your rate of reaction are moles per volume per time. Now the rate equation or the rate of reaction is normally described by an equation that's linked to the concentrations of species. Some reactions are simple and these we'll consider in this session and in later sessions we'll consider more complex kinetics. Elementary reactions are reactions where the concentration dependence in the rate equation is related to the stoichiometry. And so, for example, if we have a reaction A plus B goes to C, the rate of formation of A, that is the definition, that's the symbol for rate of formation of A, is minus, and minus because A is not being formed, it's being used up, but the nomenclature we, we will use in this course is always in terms of rate of formation, and then add a sign positive or negative to make it correct. There's a rate constant K, as shown there, and that is a function of temperature. And then we have the concentration of A multiplied by the concentration of B. Notice that the order of A is one and the order of B is one because in the reaction, we have one mole of A and one mole of B reacting. Also note that there's a relationship between the species so that the rate of formation of A must be equal to the rate of formation of B, which must be equal to minus the rate of formation of C. Remember that came from the stoichiometry of the reaction. And so all of those reaction rates are all equal to minus K, C, A, C, B in this case. And the rate constant, just to reiterate, uh, reiterate is known as the reaction rate constant, that K, and it is, is temperature dependent. Let's do some more examples of elementary re reactions and the rate equations for them. If we're given an elementary reaction A goes to C, then the rate of formation of A is again minus that term over there, because A is a product and is, being, is a reactant and is being consumed, the rate constant times CA. Again, by stoichiometry, note that for every mole of A we use up, we produce one mole of C. And so rate A is equal to minus rate C, and that is equal to minus KCA in this case. Let's look at a slightly more complicated case where we have two moles of A reacting with one mole of B to make two moles of C. If we're given that the reaction is elementary, rate A is minus, and that again, remember, is because A is being consumed, times the rate constant K times CA, in this case squared, because we have two molecules of A reacting, and so this would be, indicate there's two being used up, CA squared. There's only one molecule of B, and so we would have CB basically to the power one, and you don't put the one in because uh, it just stays like that. Again, by stoichiometry, the rate of, at which A is used up is twice the rate at which B is used up, and that is equal to uh, the minus the rate at which C is used up, or in other words, which C is formed, which is equal to minus K CA squared CB. Now, another very simple rea uh, re rate equation is if, you're, if the reaction is governed by power law kinetics. Now, a power law uh, rate equation gives the power dependence of the reactants. And so if we have reactants A, B, and C, 
Then the rate of formation of A would be minus, again, because it's not being formed, it's used up, times the rate constant K, times CA to the power X, CB to the power Y, and CC to the power Z, where the order of reactions are X with respect to A, Y with respect to B, and C with respect to Z. Let's do some examples just to make sure we understand the definition. So let's say we're given the following reaction, and that's our steam reforming of methane. And let's say we're given that under the reaction conditions, the reaction rate is zero order with respect to water and second order with respect to methane. What is the rate equation of methane? Well, in this case, the rate equation of methane, in terms of the rate of formation of methane, would be a minus because it's being used up times the rate constant, times the concentration of methane squared, and water is zero, so the concentration of anything to zero is just one, so water doesn't appear in the rate equation. Also note that the rate of formation of methane is equal to the rate of formation of water, is equal to minus the rate of formation of CO, and minus a third the rate of formation of hydrogen. Let's look at another example of a power law rate equation. Let's say that we are given a reaction that is first order with respect to A and also first order with respect to B. We're given that the stoichiometry is two moles of A react with one mole of B to give us two moles of C, and we want to know what is the rate equation. Well, the rate of formation of A is minus K times the concentration of A to the power one, which is just the concentration of B, and similarly times the concentration of B to the power 1, which is just CB, and so we have the rate equation as shown. Note that by stoichiometry again, the rate of reaction of A is equal to twice the rate of reaction of B, and it's equal to minus rate, the rate of formation of C, which is equal to minus K CA times CB. In summary, rate equations can have very much more complex concentration dependence than is covered in your study guide. The important thing is that the rate depends on the temperature through the rate constant and on concentrations. Finally, it is very important to realize that the rate is the same at any place or in any piece of equipment where the concentrations are the same. In other words, the rate is not equipment dependent.